During this section, we're going to take a look at working with the list, but we're going to talk about working with list functions. How can we create more dynamic type functions to help us calculate data inside of a list, or what Excel will refer to as a table or a database? Now open in front of you, I've got the example file that we've been working with, Excel 102 exercises, and I'm currently on the list functions tab. Now what I'm going to do here is I want to create a calculation that will sum up the total expense column, but I only want to sum up the total expense column where the category equals supplies. So now we know how to work with the sum functions. It's the most common function that people use inside of Excel. I just want to sum up a range of cells. Well, great. We got a function to do that. It's called sum. But in this case, I don't want to sum up all of total expenses. I just want to sum it up where category equals supplies. Now, in order for me to do this, if I were to use the sum function, just plain old sum, I'd have to manipulate my list in some way. I'd have to filter for supplies so I only get supplies, or maybe I'd have to sort for supplies and insert a row and calculate just for supplies. You know, there's some additional steps that I would have to do to first find the values for supplies. Well, in steps, the D sum function or the database sum function. With this one, this is how it's different from the regular sum, this will allow you to add a condition to your summing. Take a look, this is how it works. So my first step, I've identified that I wanna sum up the total expenses by a category called supplies. So the first thing I need to do is someplace out here is I need to create a condition or my criteria. So I'm going to say I want Excel to look at the category column and I want it to look for supplies, right? Now I've done two things here. I put in the header that's telling Excel that, hey, when you go to sum up the total expenses, you should be looking for a column called category. And when you find the column called category, look for supplies underneath that column. Now I'm going to format the header there just so I identify it as the header. Let's just do something simple here. There we go. Now, I'm going to come over here and say, this is going to be my uh, total expense. Okay. And let's format that one as well. I'm going to use my format painter here, a little paintbrush. There we go. All right, and let's make that column wider. Yay, there we go. All right, so now I've got some headers over there to help assist me with creating this calculation. So now my next step, I'm inside of I4, and here's where I'm going to create the calculation. So now I'm going to go up to my formulas tab. Uh, I could go looking through the books, right, trying to find the function here. Uh, if we're not sure which book to look into, we can go to insert function. This will open up a search window, and I'm just going to type in D, remember this stands for database, sum, and I'll hit go. So there's my D sum function. And down below it tells me, hey, this function adds the numbers in the field column of records in the database that match the conditions you specify. So we want to sum up the total expense column where our condition is category equals supplies. I'm going to hit OK. And now I get to fill in the specifics about the D sum function. So first step, wants to know where my database is at, where my list is at, so it knows where all my data is at. So my list starts up inside of A1. Now I'm going to use a shortcut key here to select the rest of my list. I'm going to do control shift down arrow. That grabs all the way down to the bottom. I can see I go down to row number 59. And then I'm going to do control shift right arrow. And I go all the way over to the F column. So my list is from A1 to F59. There's my list Excel. That's where you're going to find my data. Now the next thing is the field. Well, what's the field? The field is either the label of the column in double quotation marks or a number that represents the column's position in the list. Well, that still didn't help me a whole lot. The field is which column do you actually want to sum up? So for me, it could be one of a couple things. It could be total expenses in quotation marks. It could be number one, two, three, four, five, six. I could put the number six in there. Or I can just go select F1. Either way. 
all three methods work. The last thing. So I've told it where my list is at, which column do I want to sum up, but now I want to do a condition. Remember, I don't want to sum up every record. I only want to sum up where the category equals supplies. So all I need to do here is for my criteria is I'm going to select these, these two values. What is that? H3 through H4, where the category equals supplies. And that's it. Where's your list? Which column do you want to sum up? And what's your criteria? Criteria needs a header so that it knows to look for category in the list and it needs the criteria, what it is searching for inside that column. I'll hit OK and I'm done. $25,275 for total expenses for supplies. Now let's make a change here. You know what? I don't want supplies. I want software. And I'll hit my Enter key. 17,215 for software. Simple. It's not a regular sum function anymore. You can now add conditions to your summing. I want to sum up this column if this is true. So try this out. Open up the exercise file, jump over to the list functions tab, and get the total expenses for a specific category using the dsum function.